Okay, let's talk about the keyboard configuration module that you can set inside of Thin Manager for your keyboard. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, my uh, operator terminal here by going to the configuration wizard and I'm going to step all the way through until I get to the modules section and I'm going to actually add that keyboard configuration module. I'm going to select that right there. And now once I've got it in my installed modules, I'm going to select the specific one that I want for keyboard configuration module and go to configure. And once I've done that, it gives me a number of different setups that I can change. You'll notice that the uh, num lock state, cap uh, lock state, and the scroll lock state uh, all have very similar features. Uh, they basically allow it to be set to on at startup or off at startup or always on or always off. I can set those a number of different ways. Uh, the repeat delay, uh, well it's a different feature in this respect. It allows uh, basically the amount of time that a key needs to be held down before it starts repeating the keystroke. If this parameter is let's say set to disable, a key will only send one keystroke even if the key is held down. Now we also have the repeat rate if needed to be set. Uh, that parameter sets a number of characters per second uh, that are held down on the keyboard it'll be able to send. Um, so then we also have the disable repeat for the enter key. Now if that perimeter is set to yes, it will prevent the enter key from repeating if it's held down. Uh, and last but not least, we also have the keyboard layout. Uh, by default it's set to the U, uh, United States English, but let's say you uh, need one in French for either Canada or France or you need one in German, uh, whether it's in Austria or in Germany. We have a number of different keyboards that are already uh, available for you that you can set up in your environment. For more tips and gems, please visit thinmanager.com.